Hi guys, it's Karen. I just wanted to give you a couple quick tips for the end of the year to help keep everything organized. So, did you notice that when you open your bill sheet and go to the query tab, the timeline now has a drop down. So the session years, you can actually switch to just current session. And then your bill sheet's gonna roll over every year from now on, and you don't have to go changing years anymore. So you might find that to be pretty convenient to just change them all to current session. But remember to come in and take a snapshot of your bill sheets before the end of the year. If you'd like to save your comments uh, or just keep track of what you had removed, anything like that. So come into the Manage tab, say Copy, and then give the name of the copy something like 2020 Saved. Uh, and then you can go to that copy and archive it. Here's the archive checkbox or you can just leave the copy alone if you want. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and take a copy and then preferably archive your copy. Uh, and that way you'll have a copy of what you've done and your main bill sheet will still roll forward. And by doing it that way and saving the copy, then the main bill sheet, if it's driving a scorecard, if it's driving a widget, if it's driving a map, uh, it will continue to work on your website so you won't need to make any changes at all for the new year. Um, also, if you put it in groups, which you can read more about groups in the newsletter, then it will uh, continue to work in the group. So it's best to take the copy and archive the copy. Don't archive your main sheet. Uh, all right. So that is how you can manage that. Another tip. If we go into manage users, uh, the new Bill Track 50 now lets you manage yourself. So I can actually edit myself and I can come in here and I can say which bill sheets I do and don't want to see in my list. So if I go to the bill sheet tab, I can go through here and say this 2020 or this 2019 sheet, I don't need to see anymore, set it to none, and then it will no longer be in my list and it'll just be completely out of my way. Uh, so I can declutter and get all those old archive sheets removed. So after you've archived all your 2020 stuff, you can just go ahead and hide them. They're always available here. You can always go turn them on again and use them whenever you need to. If they're driving a widget, they'll still work to drive the widget. Uh, if you shared it with someone else, they'll still be able to see them. Um, but you can manage what you have in your list just by going and editing yourself and turning on and off the different sheets. So I hope that helps you get organized for the new year. Uh, good luck, everybody. Bye.